Welcome, Utah's Fly Corner. I'm going to show you how to tie my Goosey Adam. It's uh, basically just a standard Adam's dry fly, uh, tied clink hammer style. Uh, I'm using some uh, different material than uh, just standard dubbing. Uh, I'll show you how to tie it. It's a pretty effective pattern. It's uh, caught me some uh, pretty selective trout that wouldn't take uh, standard Adam's. Uh, but I'm going to tie it on a Dotch 1130 size 14 uh, it's a nice light wire hook I either tie it on uh, these hooks or or any merger hook like uh, the Riki's 125 I'm going to use Uni Camel Brown Thread Wrap that on, back it up a little far, cut my tag off. That's about where we're going to stop with our body, with the abdomen, the part that's going to sit in the water. Um, that part is going to be gray goose feather, it's a shoulder feather. Uh, you want about three fibers for a fly this big. Now with the goose feather, um, it's pretty much, uh, can be brittle sometimes. Uh, so you want to break those tips off and cut off what you're not going to need. Make sure you catch it on uh, with the good side of the feather facing it. So we want to wind on the underside of the feather. That's the color we want. If you wind on the good side, that makes a makes an effective pattern as well. Uh, just a little different color. It'd still be a goosey because you're using goose. Um, but I'm going to tie my rib on as well on the way down. It's going to be gray, dark gray, midge body thread by Montana Flyco. Some good stuff. It's a mylar thread. It's uh, pretty good stuff. It's got a nice shine to it. Give the, gives the fly some flash. Catch those guys on. You got to make sure that your goose stays on the right way. Wind your thread down. I have to go to about almost to where my thread would be hanging even with the the rest of the bend. Catch it in, bring your thread back up nice and tight, making sure all that stuff's nice and secure. A little bit of a tag here. Tie all those guys in, bring your thread back to where you started your tie in. Now we're going to wind the goose. I'm going to wind the goose my tag, my rib out of the way there. I'm going to wind my goose the opposite way that I wound that I wound my thread uh, my thread because I'm going to counter rib it with with the rib Course. Bring it up, catch it in. I cross my thread, one turn over the goose, one turn on the shank, locks it in. Do that one more time just for security and trim off my excess. I'm going to bring the rib up. I like to twist the thread a little bit to make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to bring it up the same way. Now we wound our thread. I do nice close wraps, fairly close. And catch it in two times, wind it down a little bit, stand her up, trim her off. We'll bring the thread back to our tie-in points. Be about there. Now my post. I'm going to use siliconized poly yarn. Great stuff. It's from Niche Products. Really makes the fly float. Some great stuff. But I do a figure eight wrap. And I do one wrap. One wrap right at the base. Tighten that up. Throw the thread back over. And your post is in. Bare minimum of a bulk. 
Now the hackles I'm going to use, uh, same as the standard Adams. Just a grizzly and a, gr and a brown. Get my hackles ready here. Tie them on. Touch him on. Get a little bit of a tag out of there. Get my brown on there. I'm going to post them up together at the same time. Way I don't make my post too heavy. Now what I was doing there was I was preparing the feather, and what I like to do is I as I stroke the fibers back and then I trim off the fibers on each side. It's going to leave little prongs on the stem, which is going to make uh, those hackles really stay in there. I can pull on them and they're not going nowhere. What? Now I'm going to post up. I don't like to go too high on my on my post with uh, clean camera style flies. I like my uh, hackle to be right down there in it. Now we're going to do the thorax, which is going to be dubbing. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, gray Stella dubbing. It's a synthetic dubbing of mine. Um, got some nice sh nice shine to it, uh, not overly shiny. Uh, you can dub it pretty tight, but it also gives you a nice, nice buggy bod looking body. Buggy meaning fuzzy, of course. I'm gonna dub myself a nice little noodle there. You don't need much. I'm gonna wind back. Watch that parachute post. Don't catch any of that in. Tighten my dubbing up. Wind her on. Take a look, see how she came out. Looking good, looking good. Tightening up my post before I wind my hackles. I like to wind my brown first. And I like to wind clockwise. Get my brown to sit the right way. Come around. When I reach my side of the thread, I put my thread over top of the hackle, and I pull the hackle back, and then I bring my thread over the eye, nice and tight, and I cinch it down while it comes back to me. Do that one more time. What this does is it's going to tie the hackle down way back, you know, on top of the on top of the shank. It's not going to tie it off right here in front of the eye. It's going to keep it way back on there. I like to bring one more in front. I like to get this brown hackle out of my way. Take your time tying your flies, you know, it's not a race, but I like to bring my grizzly the same same way. Just wind it right on through in the same way that you're winding your your brown hackle. Once you get to the bottom, cross your thread again. Do the exact same tying, tying off method. And then pull your hackle tight over the eye. Lift everybody up out of the way. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Make a nice little neat little brown head there. I'm gonna go right into my whip finish without worrying about anything else. Get everybody out of my way. Nice tight hand whip. Center up. I'm going to trim my hackle. Don't break your hackles off, your parachute hackles. Um, not tied that way. Um, you can get yourself in trouble. The hackle will end up breaking. 
push my hackles down so I'm not sticking 80 degrees, uh, 180 degrees up in the air. My post all together here. It's the one thing about poly yarn, it kind of like just wants to go all over the place when you tie with it. But, and I trim my post. It's a little too tall. Trim down. Nice short post. Nothing, nothing major. Maybe a little bit shorter as well. <laughs> you can put a taper on your post. Do whatever you want to. But that's pretty much the fly. It's my Goosey Adams. It's a pretty effective version of the Adams. Works great. You can see it has some different color tones to it than just uh, the multitude of color tones to it with the midge body thread and the goose on there. It's not just your standard uh, straight up gray color. Uh, and the fish certainly do dig it. Thanks for watching. Johnny Utah. Check me out on my blog, www.utahsflycorner.blogspot.com. That's the Goosey Adams. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.